<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome to the live stream. It's been a long, long time since I've live streamed and this is the first live stream since getting my laptop fixed also. Right, so hopefully we're live. Right, yes, and I've still got lots and lots of videos to edit. I'm so behind on the videos. Probably got about nine, even it could be ten actually. <laughs> I think nine. I've edited, oh, how many have I got? No, I think I've got nine more to edit. I had, I recorded loads, you see. Just because my laptop was broken, I didn't stop recording. I had the camera and I recorded, and I had it all on the memory card. Now I've put it all on the laptop. So I think I've got probably about, let's say, eight videos to edit. Eight videos to edit and about three to upload. So, yeah, that'll be funny. You're seeing me sort of in the future. Then when I upload the videos after this, I'll probably look different because my beard was longer than I shaved after. Yeah, I'll probably look younger. Anyway, let's not get that conf confusing about that stuff. Let's get into the important stuff of eye flows and how eye flows change. And hopefully this is live and the notification goes out to everyone because there's nothing in the chat yet. So maybe not everyone is in here just yet. Right, so we'll give it some time. But yeah, so I just want to say sorry for the lack of uploads you know there's a bit of a period where there wasn't any uploads and even now there's a bit of a lack of uploads again because i've got to find time to be able to edit i'm trying to balance all this i'm trying to balance all this actually it's quite hard you know i love it though i love helping you all but it's actually quite hard you know? i've got the i've got the youtube channel i've got the facebook Twitter, and instagram <laughs> i should have probably thought about that before setting them all up ah uh. I didn't know at the beginning. I didn't know at the beginning. I never expected this. I knew, oh, I don't know. I wanted to help people. But I didn't know how many, you know, would be out there suffering. And especially not this. I didn't know that many younger people. And just, I know it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy how many actually suffer from eye flows. And I don't think I was prepared for the, you know, the amount of views, the comments and shares. It's actually a lot. It's actually a lot. But any big YouTuber out there, or any big, Sort of if you have a blog, if you have a Facebook page, or you're running a anything, if you're running a Facebook, a Twitter, and you've even got, if you've got like 20,000, I don't know how you keep up with that. These big YouTubers, what do they do? They must have people like, do they have, I don't know, assistants and things like that? Because it's hard to keep up with. I do my best, but some people I feel so bad. I feel so bad because I reply like two weeks after they sent me a message. And I hate that. I need to figure out how not to do that. I want to reply as quick as I can. Yeah. So if you do want to talk to me one to one, Facebook is the best way. The only disclaimer being I may take a long time to get back. Now, Snapchat, I hardly check now. Instagram, it's a bit of an iffy one. I don't always go on there, but I'm always on Facebook. So if you message me on Facebook, that's the quickest response you're going to get from me. And especially the Facebook group, which is linked below. Do join that because let's say I'm not around. Let's say I'm not there to respond and help you all out. There's always other people ready to do that. It's a very, you know, community based group. You know, we're all helping each other, brothers and sisters. You know, with eye floaters, we're all got eye floaters. We're all, you know, supporting each other and helping each other. So, yeah, make sure you're in the Facebook group. Now, there's no one in this live stream. Maybe this is a really bad time to live stream. The chat is empty and no one's watching. So anyway, the replay is there. So if you're watching on the replay, shout out to you. <laughs> oh, there is someone in here. There is someone in here. Avanesh De Silva's in here. How's it going? Avanesh uh, De Silva, how are you doing? How's it going? Welcome to the broadcast. Yay, someone is in here. That's good. That's good. Yeah, so I titled this, I think, I float as support and advice. So we're doing the support and advice. And then how they change over time. In my case, positive, nothing but positive. And you've got to stay like that. Keep the faith and keep positive because eye floaters will get better and eye floaters do get easier. And that's the thing. That's what I want to say. Now, if you're doing the nutrition, the diet, the lifestyle, healthy living, all that stuff, you know, blue light blocking glasses, looking into the distance, closing your eyes, taking breaks from the laptops, the computers sleeping well getting the right recovery if you're doing all that let's say you should you should i can't promise for everyone of course you know i'm not a doctor i'm not a nutritionist i'm just someone sharing my experience and my story with eye floaters 
and what has happened for me and the best advice. This is all recommendations, this is all advice that I'm giving you. So what I can say is that lots and lots of people do see success, but I can't say, right, you're going to get rid of six eye flowers, you're going to get rid of seven. I can't, you know, tell you that individually because we're all different. However, what I want to say is if you're doing all the things that I have done and what everyone else is doing on the Facebook page, on the channel, you know, all these recommendations, it will get better. Firstly, you shouldn't get any new eye floaters. And then secondly, your eye floats should start to decrease. And the thing you'll notice is with that's happening, that's amazing. But let's say you don't even get that. Just over time from having eye flows, not that your brain neuro adapts, but you you learn to live with it. It's like you can start looking through floaters. I never thought that'd be possible. So sort of you can be looking in the distance. And you know, before I would go off and track my floaters, but now I can let them drop and I can, you know, laugh and be with my friends and my family and enjoy, you know, what's in front of me or what's in distance without letting eye floaters take over my mind. So a lot of it is nutrition, lifestyle, you know, changing the body, changing what we're doing. But there's also a part of it that's mental. You want to make sure the mental's right as well. And you're, you know, you're positive and faith and hope and all of that. Because, yeah, that's what I've noticed. When you're down, when you're dark, you just, that's, that's just escalates anxiety and stress and anxiety make eye floaters worse. And then um, I think they also cause it as well. So, yeah, it's hard to stay away from that. Um. We've got Avanesh in here. We've got Maria. Yes, Maria is in here. Hola, buen dia. Yes, we've got Maria, Maria in here. How are you doing? How are you doing today? Hola, que tal? Yes. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. We've got one like on the broadcast as well. We've got one like on the broadcast as well. Yeah, there's not too many, so maybe I need to figure out a better time to do the live stream. Hopefully the lighting's good as well. Probably is too much light coming from this side. Figure that out. I have to figure that out. No, it looks all right. It looks all right. Yeah. Ah, so, yeah, I just want to say thank you, really. That's the main thing. I just want to say thank you for all the comments, all the likes, all the shares. Thank you for everything you do on this YouTube channel. Thank you for everything you do on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. This is crazy, you know. We're growing and growing. It's amazing. It's amazing. And we're just raising awareness. And it's just, you know, what makes me laugh. It's just all those months ago, I was the crazy guy. And then now it's a bit more tolerated, you know, about the victories, the nutrition, because all these studies have come out. <laughs> I'm back saying it when there was no studies. But now there's studies. People are sort of, you know, like, oh, yeah, maybe you are right. Oh, yeah, this is true. Oh, my gosh, this is working. It just makes me laugh. You know, it's been a, been a crazy journey. <laughs> it's just funny. It's funny how. Uh, things change and what studies do yeah that's good the chat is either the chat's slow or maybe it's a weird time that i'm broadcasting anyway i'll let it come in a bit it's not too much going on in the chat here i think i'll let a few more maybe the notification still sending out oh that's another thing we're nearly at 500 subscribers that's just crazy so yeah it's got to probably send out the notification to 407 485 subscribers so the notification must have to come out so yeah, Anil Mahida, what is going on? Oh yes, oh yes, England, oh my gosh, what a final, the best ever final, oh my gosh, come on England, yes, finally something's come home, we couldn't do it in the football, but we did it in the cricket, I'll tell you what, huge respect to New Zealand, huge credit to New Zealand, oh what a final, oh man, I love that final. Oh, I'm replaying that today. I keep replaying it and replaying it. I love that final. That's got to be the best final ever. Oh, I love it. I love it. Let me just check the chat here. Right. So let me just check. Is everything all right? Is everything all right on the, um? you know, is everything, is the audio okay? Is the, you know, is everything all right? <laughs> because we've had some glitchy live streams in the past. So let me check here. I'll probably make it slow by checking on my phone. Let me just see here. 
Yes, everything is perfect. That's what I like to hear. Right. So I want to answer any questions you have. Any questions now, because obviously feel free to always message me on Facebook and I will reply. I may take some time, but I will reply on the Facebook. However, you know, because that's a longer reply, as, as we're here now, one to one, if there's any questions you have for me regarding eye flutters, eye health, body health, anything, really anything could be my life, my I don't know, anything you want to ask. If there's anything you're interested in, I'm open. AMA, do they call it? Ask me anything. AMA, ask me anything. Yeah, let's do a little AMA. And ask me anything. Getting signal, getting signal, getting signal. <laughs> I was doing that. I like hiking. You know, I was hiking the other day and, oh, gosh, it's funny when you're trying to find signal. It's like going back in the olden days. It's crazy how we've all got our phones and GPS. Anyway, I'm going to go off on another topic, you know. Right. Um, where are we at? Congratulations for winning the World Cup. Thank you, Anil. Yes, we've got Kaz in here. What's going on? Any luck with the pineapples? For me personally, no, and I'm not really doing it anymore. I didn't do it, you know. I'm not the best person to ask on this because I didn't stick with it. You know what I mean? I haven't I haven't done it for the three months. I may get back on it again, but uh with me it was causing me a lot of trouble with my teeth. My back teeth were really sore, really stinging. And the pineapple caused my tongue to get those little white dots. And if I had too much, you know, they get them red patches. There's a proper name for them. I don't know. Are they, you know, there's type of sore or something. I'm not sure. Caused my tongue to get them. So I couldn't really eat them. But yeah, let me know how you're doing with the pineapple. Uh, let me all know how you're doing with the pineapple. How's it going? Uh, let me see here. Let me see. Right. Um, what's the latest research that you read about on eye flutters? The latest research I read was uh the latest research, Dr. Seaback um and Dr. Tazigunden. Sorry, I said cat I, I pronounced names wrong, sorry. Um Dr. Seaback and Dr. Tazingun are doing a new research on a new type of laser. And um, the new research was obviously on the vitreous opacities, things like that. And there's also something the other day that was isolating bromelain and testing that on eye floaters. And then there's also been the vitamin C and vitamin E studies on eye floaters. It's amazing. There's loads of studies coming out currently. Uh, pineapples are working, though it's painful with the sores. Exactly. You see, that's the problem with uh, pineapple, isn't it? You're having the same thing as well, you say. Yeah, it's very uh, acidic, isn't it? It's very acidic on the old mouth. And obviously I have um, genetic weakness. Actually, my own genetic weakness. It's not like my mom or dad had anything bad with the teeth. You know, I don't blame them. It's just one of those things, really. My teeth have always been, I think it's dentin. No, is it dentin? Basically, my dentin is stronger and my enamel's weaker. So the, the balance is wrong on my teeth. And the good thing is they're strong, they're amazing, everything like that. But I've got, they're all strong. However, the uh, sensitivity is super high. So I've got to be very careful, like cold water, ice cream, anything like that. You know, it just sets me right off brain free straight away. And then when it comes to a lot of sugar, which doesn't help, because what did I lead before this healthy lifestyle? I was the average teenager, standard British diet, down in that cola down in the Fanta and the lemonade and the fizzy drinks, probably going through gallons a day, chocolate cake, chocolate bars, waffles, crisps, crackers, you know, custard creams, oh, layer some more syrup on top. Yeah, so I already had bad teeth, destroyed my teeth. Lucky they're all there. You know what I mean? <laughs> the future of the kids' teeth are going to be crazy. And also the problems with the knees and the joints because of the phosphoric acid in the uh, fizzy drinks and then alzheimer's and dementia because of the fizzy drinks also because of the aspartame and the school's fame which get deposited in the brain and destroy the brain cells and the synapses so you don't get the firing and then you get apoptosis which is cell death oh, thank goodness i stopped that craziness at, i would say about 19 maybe definitely for the this whole year 
you know, no fizzy drinks, no junk, no rubbish, not even a treat. That's the thing. Even when I go to someone's party, I'm like, sorry, you know, I'm beyond the point of where I'd fall back now. You know how you have cheat days? I'm beyond that. If I have a cheat day, maybe it's a packet of potato chips or crisps, but I ain't going there fizzy drinks. I ain't going there carbonated rubbish at all now. I'm done with that. Um, I look at that and I, you know, when you see a can of drink, I see poison written across it. So I don't want to go near that. <laughs> um, yo es toy fermentando platando pasajesa vinegri de plantano. So I think you have fermented um, plants, fermented vegetables, but plants isn't the word. That's um, ayuda, isn't it? Um, para hasa vinegra. Yeah, vinegar. Vinegra, I think it's that word. I need to go back to my Spanish days. I think so. Vinegra. Um, I've been on them for three weeks now. Very good. You're persevering. You're sticking with it. Do you think that the subject of vitrectomy should be revisited? Apparently, there is a doctor from Manchester named Niall Patton. He did a lot of surgeries and people are delighted. See, this is the thing. I'm obviously against vitrectomy. Vitrectomy should only be for sight threatening situations. I don't believe doing vitrectomy for eye floaters. I don't believe that personally because, you know, you can, if you want first hand, you know, people would go, oh, it's anecdotes. Well, yeah, I want to talk to real people that have had the surgery. To me, anecdotes mean a lot. Facebook pages, you know, many, there's a 5,000 group Facebook page, there's an 8,000 Facebook page, you know, first. Look, there's a few cases. You have a vitrectomy, you get the secondary infections, and then there's the cataracts form in three months or six months, or there is the ones that are successful, you know. Oh, look, two years, everything's great. You check back with those people after three years, cataracts. And how I look at it is, you're going from having eye floaters, which, yes, are annoying, but they're not going to destroy your eyesight, to having a vitrectomy, and now you're left with cataracts, and then after that, cataracts, obviously, there could be complications with that surgery. So you need another eye surgery. You have to wear glasses because your night vision, everything changes once you have the fake lenses put in after cataract surgery. Uh, what have we got? Increase for retinal detachments, retinal tears. It's too risky. It's too risky. You know, if you actually look at the connections, it's just too risky. And also it's invasive. You know, you have to stick the two things in the whites of your eye. Big, massive things. It's like drilling into the whites of your eye. Yeah, it's not something I would get done. And um, I don't like normal surgery anyway. I don't even like anaesthetic. <laughs> My anxiety is too high for that rubbish, you know. It's amazing. It's amazing. Of course, you need it. You need it. You know, doctors, nurses, surgeons are amazing people. But me personally, ah, uh, I don't know. That's why I'm lucky that I haven't broke anything or anything like that. because I just hate that idea of, you know, my family members have had a surgery and things. And I'm like, how do you do that? How do you lay there? and get an anesthetic that's so scary i find that super super scary what do you do outside youtube yeah that's a good question avanes what do you do outside youtube so obviously mainly i'm working which is laboring construction you know plumbing just different things you know um ripping out gardens you know walls houses conservatories you know general building work construction laboring that's my day job um when I'm not doing that, I like to do cycling, um, obviously long distance running. I was originally a sprinter, but I've been transitioning into long distance running, marathons, hiking, you know, walking on trails, running trails, exploring new places. What else do I like to do? Tennis, football and cricket really are my main free sports. Tennis, football and cricket and obviously cycling if you want to include that. Uh, what else do I do? You know, I'm not I don't do anything too outlandish, too, ex too exciting. You know, I'm quite a plain sort of guy, even with my food and that. I could probably do the same routine every single day and not get bored. <laughs> probably do the same thing every single day and not get bored. I will send you the link about risks, statistics about vitrectomy. Yes, do. Send me them on Facebook. And if there's anyone watching this and you haven't added me on Facebook, feel free to click the link in the description below. And then once you go to the Facebook group, you should see my name on there and send me a friend request and we can talk one to one on the Facebook. Maria says banana. Everything that is anti-inflammatory. Yes, you always want antioxidants, anti-inflammatory. Muy bien, muy bien. Very good, very good. I'm a civil engineer, but I do not like it. Oh, that's a very good job, civil engineer. 
but it's hard, isn't it? It's hard work. It's hard work. That's a very good job, the civil engineer. Very, very good job. Fennel seeds, uh, sunf. Oh, is that another word for it? S A U N F. Sunf are very good for eyes, people. Yeah, I like fennel seeds, you know. I like fennel seeds. I find it's amazing for the digestion, especially after a big, large meal for the digestion. It's very good for the stomach and, you know, especially acid reflux as well. And I also like the taste of it. You know, I like that taste of fennel seeds. I like it. I was going to say Sambuca then. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's a nice taste. I actually like fennel seeds. They're good. I could have them all day long. <laughs> yeah. So is there any other questions? That was a good question, Avanesh, you know. Uh, I don't really do too much out. I'm trying to think, is there anything exciting, really? I don't do anything. <laughs> what are your hobbies? Yeah, let me know in the chat below. I mean, the chat next to here. What are your hobbies? What are your interests? Yeah, other than, you know, working and YouTube. <laughs> fitting in the running and the walks that's it and that's it really not too much other stuff i'm probably gonna watch this back and remember something that i should have said uh not really no and then i just watch a few soap operas like eastenders and things like that that's it you know documentaries and things like that yeah I'm very, very unique, actually, <laughs> for my age, you know, for my age. I'm very, very unique. You know, all my friends are doing crazy stuff all the time. Yeah, I've never been too interesting like that. I've always been, I don't know, I've always been sort of the researcher, the, you know, mechanics and understanding how things work. And when I was younger, the only cartoons really I'd watch was SpongeBob SquarePants and that. Most of the time I'd like to watch documentaries. I just used to love watching documentaries, you know. Um, my mum would put on a cartoon, I'd go to the documentary channel and the TV would be flicked back. I'd change again. I'd always watch a documentary. I used to love the water ones, you know, about the underworlds. Yeah, fascinating stuff. Um, I am eating pineapple and I have noticed that eye floaters are more mobile than before. OK, plus I don't know if it's a placebo, but I'm noticing some fading. That is very good news. Well done. Very good news. Maybe 10 percent. That's what I want to hear. How do you find a pineapple on your mouth? Do you find it stings your teeth and tongue? That's why I had to stop doing the pineapple. Um, do you know what, though? I, that's very interesting that you talk about the mobile thing. That's another thing that we need. So, so many unanswered questions. I find this. See, when I'm doing the water fasting, the floaters are shooting all over the place. When I'm eating, they're more stagnant. You know, if I, they're slower. They all bounce around when I'm water fasting welcome doom ios what is going on what is up how are you doing welcome doom ios i like that name doom ios i actually like that it's got a ring to it there's certain names i like you know i read in the comments <laughs> i really like names and different things i like cool things people do and even that platinum punjabi records it's good pp you know platinum punjabi records yeah i like that i like that's good uh so, yeah, everything's just amazing, really. I just want to say thank you for all your support. And, yeah, it's crazy, actually. It's crazy. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. But it is quite hard <laughs> to keep on top of. But I'm doing it. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Because the thing is, you see, that's the main thing. I love talking to you all. And I love that interaction. <laughs> oh, dear. It's just so funny, you know. I open up. Sometimes I don't go on in the morning on Facebook. And I open up Facebook at night. And it's like. I look at my messages like 40 plus. Have you ever seen it when it's like got 35 or 40 messages? <laughs> and then when I've replied to everyone, obviously to them, it's one to one. But then I'm getting conversations because all of those people reply. And now it's like I can't even use the app on my iPad. If I use the messenger app on my iPad, everyone's messaging back and forth. And I'm messaging. The whole thing crashes. <laughs> and my laptop's fixed now. But it's still a bit wibbly wobbly if that's a word it's still a bit wonky you know <laughs> for editing it's still a bit glitchy but bear with me bear with me we're getting there um oh i'm missing the chat whoa i'm missing the chat avanesh says i am a software r d engineer brilliant oh so you've got amazing jobs you know you're amazing people you've got amazing jobs mostly in telecom industry my dad was uh, oh well, not my dad sorry my granddad my granddad on my mom's side um he was a british telecom bt engineer um love gaming and but all this is too stressful on the eyes that is true it's very stressful on the eyes and then you're yeah it's hard it's hard i have a kitchen 
weight scale, I am eating strictly 120 grams every day. So I don't face any sores yet. Oh, you're lucky. Even if I had one chunk, my teeth are gone. But then I do have a bit of an issue. So I can't really, <laughs> you know, say that. Um, I'm eating them for a week now. I have no problem with my teeth. Very lucky. That's very lucky. But, but yeah, apparently some people feel discomfort after. Yes, I do. I feel a lot. Um, Islam is my way. How are you doing? Welcome. You're always commenting and amazing on the videos. Thank you for all your support. How's your floaters now? Uh, as of right now, I would say way better. Basically, no new eye flows. Some days are bad, but most days are good. I've got to a place where most days are good days. So maybe the odd bad days if they're all in the front and they've moved around. But other than that, you know, it's not too bad. It's just the big, fat, transparent ones annoy me because they haven't changed. The mitochondria, translute and transparent, whatever you want to call them, they haven't seemed to change which is weird. I don't know, are they trapped in a different part of the vitreous? Or is it because they're already transparent and they can't get out? The small black dot eye flows, gone. The strands um, shrink. Obviously, I've still got strands. I'm not fully cured. I'm not fully got rid of anything. However, they've got smaller. I, I can go to a white wall. That's what I do. When it's really sunny, right, I go, I open all the windows up, I open everything up, and the white wall is like proper bright. And I stand there. Don't do this if you've got anxiety. I only do this now and again to check. Before when I had anxiety and first had eye flow, I was like, it's crazy. Don't don't stand in front of a white wall because you just drive yourself mad. But just to check, I went in the white wall, and I can definitely say seven small black dot eye flows in the right eye and seven uh, seven small black dot eye flows in the right eye and five small black dot eye flows in the left completely gone cured got rid of whatever word you want to use they're not in the eye anymore i can switch around they're not there uh the free transparents haven't changed well they've actually sort of got worse because they've sort of spread out and they're more watery now you know they're big more watery but they haven't got rid of them the strands are a lot thinner now and when I say thinner, I mean they're not as black. So, you know, like when you've got bold, a big bold, imagine you draw with a pen, a big bold line, and you put water over it and they wash out. That's what's happened to my black strands. And in terms of my big black um, dot eye floater, which I've got in my right eye, that's the same. But I don't mind. I'm not going to be pessimistic. I've had amazing success, you know, from where I was even just what, nine months ago, 10 months ago, that was craziness. I've probably been on keto now. I must have been on keto now for seven months, seven and a half months. Keto diet. I think I've been on the keto diet. Obviously, I'm not dogmatic on the fat, protein and carbs, but I don't have any processed foods, refined foods. Everything's organic, grass fed. And I never go crazy on the carbs. Sometimes I go a bit higher on the carbs. You know, we got 50, um, you know, the keto boundaries is usually anything between 20 and 50 grams of carbohydrate. Keep under that. But sometimes I go up to 80 and 90 but it's from whole food sources and also so i don't lose any weight and lose any muscle and so i can actually build muscle i have the protein you know right up there and the sort of moderate fat moderate protein i'm not super high on the fat uh where are we now i say wash your face with cold water and drink lots of water also try to ignore your floaters yes that is good advice uh where have we got now Plus, after a whiskey drinking night, my visual snow and eye floaters are worse in the morning. Exactly. I'm totally off alcohol. Um, no, I have actually had alcohol once. Uh, I had alcohol at uh, my friend's birthday party. That must have been, uh, when did he have the birthday party? Because his birthday was on the, was it on the Saturday after? Sometime in May. I think it was probably May 18th on the 12th of may we got the 10th of may yeah but i only had a few like lagers if i have any alcohol visual snow comes by the way that's the thing i have mild visual snow certain mornings if i that's why i'm off the alcohol if i even have you know what a bottle of alcohol visual snow's off the charts eye flutters off the charts you know it's got a very bad effect because i think it affects the liver and that's the liver and eye connection and also it does dilate the blood vessels uh lucky i got a whole load of new flowers lucky i got a whole lot of new flowers no way oh dear when you say a whole load of new did you just wake up and a whole load of new how many and 
What are the black ones? What type? That's annoying. Guys, try papaya too. Yeah, where'd you get papaya? I can't seem to find papaya over here in, you know, the normal local stores. Maybe I have to go to an organic market or something. Yeah, I haven't tried to found papaya over here. Uh, when I look somewhere bright, like the floaters really show, yes, papaya is too hard to get in the aisles. Yeah, same here in the UK. It's hard, isn't it? Do you know what annoys me? A lot of people say they, they can get over this. Blue field and toxic phenomenon. Obviously, you can bypass it, you know, but for me, goodness me, when I'm, I'm doing my hikes, if I'm on top of the cliff, right, and we're looking across at the water, it's insane. We're not talking, you know, the normal level of blue field and toxic where you maybe see a few strands. I'm talking, no exaggeration now. I must be seeing a million darting things, you know, a million darting lights. Because I look across from right over there, right across, darting, darting lights, darting lights, darting lights. The blue field and toxic phenomenon in itself is, is crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy. And obviously, I've always had that because green eyes let more light in. If you've got black eyes and brown eyes, Obviously, anyone can get blue field and toxic phenomenon because it's natural. You know, it's your blood cells moving through the capillaries and then the red blood cells coming behind. The darts are the white blood cells and the, the uh, little strangy bits, when you see them dart, it's the actual red blood cells. It's natural. However, if you've got light, the lighter your eyes are, basically, the lighter eye colour you have, the more light that gets to your retina. The darker your eye colour, the less light that gets to your retina. So that's why you can get varying degrees of people describing eye floaters and also blue field and topic phenomenon because it's worse in different eye colours. You know, it's lucky like my brother, he's got um, almost black eyes, my mom has brown eyes. They can look at the sky and maybe see one or two stars, but they don't really see the blue field and topic phenomenon at all. And then when I talk to the people with the blue eyes and the green eyes, like myself, it's just off the Richter scale. Uh, when I look, um, where are we now? I say like black dots, I say like black dots and some of the strings and they are bold and black. Yeah, they will get better. They will definitely get thinner. What sort of diet are you following in lifestyle? What are you sort of doing? I hate new flows. What sort of diet and lifestyle are you doing? Because this is the thing. I am now at a position where I can say with 100%, obviously it's just for me, but no, no, you know, with 100% certainty and with 100% confidence eye floaters have changed and got better and the only reason for that success in me is diet nutrition and lifestyle so that is juicing detox and eating the healthy keto diet and avoiding all the ultra processed foods also wearing the blue light blocking glasses everything i you know talk about and do it's, it's got to be true because i think to myself today right i think to myself today what seven and a half months of this diet and i've got new new eye floaters you can't tell me that's placebo. You can't tell me that's delusional. And you can't say it's just a coincidence. And also all the time, you know, I could, I could, I've got all it written down. I've got it all in the diary. Everything coincides, you know, everything. The, the juicing and cleansing. As soon as I do juicing and cleansing, no more new eye flowers. Got rid of four. Then I did the healthy keto. It took two and a half months to get rid of all of the small black dot eye flowers. And then from... I would say the four month mark and the five month mark of healthy keto. That's when the strands start thinning a bit. And now what am I at? Seven and a half months, nearly eight months of this healthy diet. Just amazing. And, and, I, and I can't see why it won't stay like this. I don't, you know, I'm going to keep with it. That's how I am. I'm going to keep with it. But then there is another part of me. There is another part of me that does want to experiment with different diets Nothing outlandish. I'm no way going back to the standard diet because that's what's caused the alpha I'm not going back to that. But I would like to experiment with the raw diet, you know, like raw vegan. And then I would like to try sort of more, you know, I don't know about carnivore now. Carnivore is a big thing. You know, you've got Frank Tofano, Dr. Ken D. Berry, Paul Saladino, you know, you know, really, you know, they're looking well, you know, they look well, don't they? I know. You know, some of their blood markers, they don't do a lot. Well, they have done blood tests, but we haven't seen a long term study. But their carnival diet, you know, they're looking well, you know, good muscle, good shiny skin. I'm interested. You know, I'm very interested in the carnival diet, which is basically 100 percent meat based, no fruit, no veg, no nuts, uh, no carbs, nothing, just fat and protein. I would like to try it out. 
sounds crazy at first, but then when you watch their videos, you know, you start thinking, you know, I don't know. I would like to maybe experiment. If I did experiment, I would upload that onto my Cormac Wilson channel, soon to be CTW channel, because I don't want to confuse people on this channel with different diet. Let me know your thoughts and uh, opinions in the chat on that. Another beneficial thing is ghee. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love ghee. Yeah, ghee's good. I love ghee. And the main thing about ghee is sort of anything ghee, um, why else is there? Full fat butters I can have. If I have the lactose part, it messes me up. You know, I have lactose intolerance. However, if I have the full fat with the sugar taken out, it's amazing. So I like ghee and things like that. Yeah, ghee's good. Ghee's very good. Um, you know, you've got the omega free fatty acids, you see DHA and EPA. People always forget about omega free fatty acids, you know. Well, they say omega freeze and they go eating the wrong types of food. See, it's funny actually. Yeah, no wonder people think I'm crazy. You know, when I eat, when I eat food, I basically eat for nutrition, I eat for minerals and vitamins. <laughs> oh, it's funny when I'm out at a restaurant, I'm just laughing. I'm out at a restaurant, right? I'm eating all of this. Yeah, they're looking at it salmon bit of broccoli here you know to them it's just salmon and broccoli to me i'm seeing the vitamin k's the vitamin a's and b's and c's um a day in keto and i was craving for chips not for me i need complete meals with carbs as well as fats this is the thing though with keto that's like if you're strict keto that's like 75 percent fat 20 percent protein five percent carb that first week you're going to be real tired you're going to have the keto rash you're going to have the keto flu you're going to have severe cravings but if you can get through that then you're going to run on ketones it's amazing um for obviously people losing weight but what i believe in is seasonal eating you should have a period of time where you're in ketosis and running on ketones and then you should have a period of time where you're on carbs natural healthy whole food carbs and then you should be higher protein change it up a bit like when the sun's out when the summer's out See what's happening around you. You know, the berries start coming out. The fruit starts coming out. Your, even your gut microbiome. People don't realize this. You know your saliva glands and your whole digestive tract. The enzymes in there change in January, February, March, June, July, and August. They change for the season. And that's what's amazing as well. And also you've got to look at your heritage. I believe in ancestral and seasonal eating. You can't go wrong with ancestral and seasonal eating. You know, nowadays people are so dogmatic. They're insanely dogmatic. You know, see, so, yeah, this is where I can, I can see if, if you've got a health condition and it's working, I say, do you basically, whatever's working for you, do it, keep to it. But for me, I like to view it as I couldn't be lifelong vegan, not for me, lifelong carnivore, not for me. You know, I believe you've got to have the balance and the gut microbiome is the second brain. You want to keep the healthy gut, keep a healthy brain, you know, vice versa. So you've got to have it. You've got to have the varied amounts. You've got to have the varied amounts. And that's why when I say keto, people are always arguing with me and saying, oh, but you were eating this and you're eating that. Look, I'm not a keto guru. When I say keto, it's it's keto based. But it's not strict keto. Some weeks I am strict keto, but then I also do put my carbs up to like 80 and 90 grams and around 100 grams sometimes. And then the protein goes up as well. And then I like to juice. I do weeks of juicing and I'm on fruits. <laughs> If you think about it like that, and I'm on vegetables, I'm probably super high on the carbs, but they're whole food carbs, you see. Oh, um, food carbs. Um, where are we now? Guys, don't let these little floaters take a toll on your life goals. No, don't. That's the worst thing. Don't. You've got to fight through. Don't let eye floaters have authority on you. Never do that. Uh, we'll see the rest of the video later. My lunch break is over. Avanesh, thank you for being here um, with the rest of your day. I hope you're successful and i wish you all the best and um thank you for joining here and thank you and take care and don't let those eye floaters annoy you i know it's not easy though diet consists of 40 percent fruit 60 percent other foods is the best diet as said in ayurveda yeah i do like ayurveda i really like ayurveda yes uh platinum i agree first month i was really depressed i'm just getting used to them over time and yes now i try to eat differently this is another thing if you've got, let me clean the camera for a minute. Let me just, when I say camera, I mean my laptop webcam. One minute. Let me just clean it. Is that better now? Did a bit. It looks a bit better. I'm OCD about things, so it probably doesn't make a difference. But to me, I see the fine little details. So, yeah, talking about, um, I don't usually talk about my other problems too much because I don't really like to do that too much. But 
for anxiety, depression, and OCD, keto is amazing. You know, getting off the sugars has been amazing for my mental well-being, my mental health. I'm telling you this, right? When I was on the, you know, high sugar, it's weird how you don't see it at the time. You know, you just, oh, more chocolate, more cakes, you know, we sugar rush back down, sugar rush back down, sugar rush back down. When you actually get off all that, the depression and anxiety, obviously floaters cause a lot of it, but your tolerance goes up when you're on a keto diet and you've got rid of all that junk. Your mind's clearer. Do you know, I get anxiety now and again, but it's low, you know, it's not severe. Depression, I don't even know when the last time I was down. Yeah, I get stressed. I've never, I haven't had any depression. I haven't been down for not once this year, not once this year I haven't been, you know, and that's all down to diet and nutrition. It's crazy how there's there's a load of people in this world that still believe that medicines are the go-to and diet and nutrition has no effect and they can eat whatever they want and it has no effect. That's just insane. You know, you're putting something in your mouth. I view food as fuel. I view, uh, I view food as nutrition and minerals and a complex, you know, a chemical complex, a biological complex for your body. So what you're putting in is going to have so many reactions in the body and it's going around your brain, your nose, your eyes, you know, it's full body. It's just insane to go around saying food has no effect, which people do all the time. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, depression, anxiety, all that stuff can be, in my opinion, cured and reversed. If not so, maybe down to 20 percent, say if you're 100 percent severity, down to 20 percent, definitely like a whole rerouting of the brain. A lot of it is affirmations, you know, doing the mental tricks, but diet and nutrition is key. Absolutely key. Let me just see here. Uh, oh, the chat, the chat's going on, the chat's going on. Let me not miss the chat. Ah, uh, where are we, where are we now? Welcome to the broadcast, Andrea Rossi. How are you doing, Andrea? Uh, Kaz says, I do, I do believe that food has an effect, but you should keep doing it. Yes, absolutely. Fruits, I mean, food's amazing. Of course, food, nutrition, everything has an effect, you know. We're living in an environment now. This is what I said to people all the time. We've got to be high on the antioxidants. Everything is inflammation causing. Everything is you know, um, so everything is inflammation causing, everything is oxidizing us, right? You know, we've got the, you've got the cell phones, you've got the 5G coming out, you've got the ultra processed food. So we need to up our antioxidants. That is key, definitely key. I started yoga. Yeah, how is yoga? How is yoga? You know, it's not something that I can stick to, you know, oh, I could try probably, <laughs> I don't know. For me, it's just a good, nice run. <laughs> but if you're doing yoga, you're good. It's good. It's good. Well, before I had eye floaters, I was on a war with my eyes, like 24 hours straight on laptop like crazy. Exactly. For me, oh, yeah, I've had bad times with eye floaters, but they are a blessing in disguise. If I didn't get eye floaters, I wouldn't have even cared. I didn't. You know what? When you don't have a problem with your eyes, you don't even think about your eyes. You know, you eat, you drink, you, you're staring this close to the laptop, you're gaming. Everything reroutes when you actually have a problem. So it is a blessing in disguise. Sometimes you need something to hit you in the face, you need to hit you hard like that. Not literally, you know, not literally anyone, but you know what I mean? You need a wake up call. You need someone to just go like that. And that's what eye floats are. Hey, 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 you're destroying your body. You're destroying your eyes. Are you going to stop? If you don't stop, it's going to get worse. That's what I view eye floaters as. It's like a warning sign. Same as symptoms. Same as symptoms, you know, whether it's a joint ache, a joint pain, even a cold. You know, people think colds are a condition. Colds are a symptom. Pain is a symptom. You know, um, diabetes, uh, thyroid problems, they're a symptom. They're not a disease. They are a symptom. And this is what people need to forget. People put symptoms as a cause. No, 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 no. A symptom is a symptom. <laughs> the cause is whatever is at the root of that. And that's what we need to look for, root causes. That's why I love natural medicine and Ayurveda. It looks for the root cause. You know, they don't just say, oh, condition, medicine, condition, medicine. What are you doing? Why are you treating a symptom for? <laughs> uh, well, before uh, I read that, did I read that? Yes, I did. But now I don't watch any screen without a light on in the room. Plus, blue light blocking glasses. Amazing. These are amazing. 
you know what? <sighs> These unhealthy diet. I just wish I could just go back throughout my teenage years. I just had migraine after migraine after migraine. I had cluster headaches. I had tension headaches all at the back of the neck. Super pain across here. Pain all around the head. But, oh, I just thought it was too much study. Little did I know it was all them fizzy drinks that I was having. Heard it. And MSG, monosodium glutamate. Oh, check your ingredients for that. If you haven't watched my ingredient video, I know it's a long one, but it's worth it. You know, not just for your eyes, for this whole body. And so you can have longevity and live a long, happy, happy life. Watch that ingredient video I made. I don't know what it's called. I just put in, uh, you'll see it on the channel somewhere. It's, it's avoid these ingredients. And yeah. It just worries me though, because I think back of how much I was having. Yes, I've stopped now. Yes, I'm 20. I'm, I'm living healthy now. But whoa, what was I doing from, from probably when I was 11 or 12, even 13, all the way up until I was 80? The rubbish that I was putting in me, when you think about it. Oh, I'd have litres of Coca-Cola a day and I wouldn't get fat. This is what is dangerous. I have super high metabolism. Skinny as a, as, as a rake, you know, eating whatever I want, when I want, not putting on weight. So I thought, look at me, I'm healthy. We, I don't have to worry about this stuff. But the destruction inside is insane. Um, do you believe that one day there will be a safe cure for eye flows? Absolutely, I do. 100% there will be with all the technologies. You know, we sent people all over the place, you know, all these planes and rockets and aircraft, you know, all this technology. One day there will be a safe cure for eye flows. Absolutely, absolutely. Yoga is very good. What it does is makes you more stretched. Yeah, flexibility is important. Your muscles and vessels become more flexible. That's what you need. Oh, do you know what you should do? You're doing yoga, right? Add some copper and selenium. Either eat copper rich and selenium foods or get a copper supplement. Actually, no, don't get a copper supplement. Or you could do actually beef liver, and lamb's liver. You want to get your copper from that and get your selenium maybe from Brazil nuts. That's really good for the vessels, really good for the blood vessels, more flexible. And this is makes oxygen supply much more better. Oh, and you want another thing is whilst you're doing your yoga, you could be powerful now. Beetroot. Beetroot is amazing. Beet are vasodilators with the nitrates, natural nitrates. And nitric oxide, amazing. Yeah, very amazing. Um, I need to get a drink. My voice is getting hoarse. <laughs> Maybe someday, but vitrectomy is a big no, no, people. What if doctor makes you blind? Absolutely. It's a, I'm not doing that. You know, bad enough any other surgery. I haven't had, you know, I, uh, touch wood. I ain't having any accidents. I don't want any surgery that I have to get under anesthetic for. You ain't cutting out any of my organs. Don't you dare think you're sticking things in my eyes. You know, we can joke and laugh, but I'm very serious about that stuff. And I'm natural, you know, whatever I get, I'm like, right, where's the plant? Where's the herb? Touch wood, nothing bad happens. Touch wood. Do you know, if you have to have surgery, then you have to. If it's life threatening or sight threatening, I know you have to. But I don't know what I'd be like in that situation, you know. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I'd be like in that situation because. I would know all the medicines and the bad side effects. And that's what the doctors don't like. Yeah. <laughs> Eye doctors, normal doctors, I'm sitting in front of them and like, how do you know all this? Oh, you know more than me, but you're not a doctor. You know, there's that. Oh. But I'm always saying it in a nice way. I've had so many debates. I've had so many debates. But in a nice way, you know, in a nice way. Um... Dude, yesterday was a really close fight between two teams. Congratulations, England won. Thank you. Best final ever. You know, it almost turned into a T20 match. It went from ODI cricket to T20. <laughs> uh, ben Stokes, that guy, right, should be held right up here. Huge respect. Now, the whole England team, of course, even New Zealand, even New Zealand were amazing. But Ben Stokes is just, yeah, he's on another level. The things he did in the IPL, his catches, his bowling, his batting. And now that yesterday, what a player. Ben Stokes is like, you know what? Oh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, probably. As of right now, Ben Stokes is my favourite English current cricketer. My favourite England cricketer of all time is probably Kevin Peterson. Kevin Peterson, KP, is probably my favourite England cricketer of all time. And then now it's Ben Stokes. And then um, I love Josh Butler as well. I love his style. I love his batting. And we're so lucky to have Josh Archer now. So lucky. Yeah, Besto, Besto. Oh, yeah, when he unleashes, 
Yeah, and Roy, you Roy, you know, Roy went off yesterday. Yeah. And so I was laughing. England is such a diverse team, isn't it? It's funny, like Roy's got the South African. Um, Owen Morgan, obviously the captain, he's from Ireland, even though they're from England, Joffre from Barbados. Yeah, it's funny. There's so much diversity in the England team. It's good. It's good. Um, please read the website before judging the trek. I mean, no, I will read the website, but it's always good to get, you know, different points of views and actually talk to people. You know, I've talked to, I can go on a Facebook group and talk to over 5,000 people. And that's a lot of negative, you know, stories there. But obviously there's the website as well. And yeah, Stokes from New Zealand, man. There we go. Stokes from New Zealand. <laughs> Stokes from New Zealand. So yeah. <laughs> oh, it's great. Oh, it's good. It's good. I still can't believe India didn't get that. I was, you know what? Any bet I would have put on that. England, India final. That's what I thought all along from the beginning of the campaign. Imagine that. Mad. That is just, I don't know what went on with the Indian batsman that day. Look, take nothing away, you know, from New Zealand's bowling. But the batsman, you know, something was off. Something was definitely off was the Indian batsman. You know, I don't know, was it the pressure? Was it the, did they just think, oh, this is going to be easy. We're going to get to the final. Something went wrong that day. Something definitely went wrong that day. I really thought India would be there. Oh, we've got nine watching and we've got three likes. So if you don't like the broadcast, give it a like. I'm joking. That was so cringe. <laughs> but do give it a like. <laughs> I never ask for likes much. I don't actually know. Do they do anything? I think they do boost the broadcast. What do likes do? I know they show support of the video, but do they boost the live stream? I actually don't know. I think they might do. They might do. I think so. Well, New Zealand was like a mad crab. Just bit India and ran off finals. That is true. But you got your own back. Um, they ran out MS Dhoni, didn't they? And yesterday we ran out uh, Martin Guptill. And he was the one that ran out Dhoni, I think. Yeah, was that right? Yeah, that is right. And you got your own back. I can't send a link here. Why does the link not come? Have you got me on Facebook? Send the link on Facebook. Yeah, man, Guptill. It was Guptill, wasn't it? Yeah. He's a good player, you know, when he's in form. He's been a bit, he's been a bit off no he's not too off but a little bit off a little bit off he's got quick legs so he's usually quick between them wickets i need to go and get a drink of water um hopefully those bottles aren't empty i bet those bottles are empty oh, i hate lee i can't just run to my i run to my bathroom i try and be quick if anyone comes in the broadcast just tell them i've gone to get water and i'll be back i'll be back i've gone to get agua in spanish and water panny panny in Gujarati. Can I say it in any other countries now? Agua, Pani Pani, water. Ah, no, right. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> right boom right Kaz bro don't get vitrectomy it's dangerous man no matter what anybody says hey we've got Zulakia in here oh I don't want to pronounce that wrong oh is that how you say your name Rabia that's easier to say Zulakia Zulalika apologies for the pronunciation so is your name Rabia? Rabia. Dear Cormac, I am Rabia. I have thick, dense flutter in my centre vision. Sorry to hear that. 
I have a big flutter in my vision as well. Um, I send you link in Instagram. Yes, do send on the Instagram. I feel so depressed and have an appointment on 22nd of this month. Please pray for me. Of course, of course. Yes, yes. Appointment for what? Thanks, Platinum. And I don't believe I have such a fear. <laughs> Pardon me. Condition to get me. So, Rabia, I just want to say this to you. Stay strong. I know it's not easy, but just stay calm. You've got an appointment. That's the amazing thing. Um, have you got an appointment for an eye test, eye exam? If, the, if it is an eye test, an eye exam, just stay calm now. You know, it's out of your hands. What you can do and what is in your hands is your diet and your nutrition, your lifestyle, protecting your eyes. But you've got to be positive. Whatever's going to happen, leave that for the 22nd. You know, don't worry about that now. What's going to happen on 22nd will happen. Let that happen. You've got to just take your mind off it. This is coming from someone that had severe anxiety, by the way. <laughs> yeah, like anxiety through the roof, always had anxiety, social, general, all anxieties. Yeah, so it can be done. If someone with anxiety and OCD can get to where I have, then if you've not got any of these conditions, you'll be fine. You will be fine. And that's the thing. We all worry. When I first got eye flutters, it was doom and gloom. And now I'm in a position where I can say to you, it does get better and it will get better. It definitely, definitely will. You've got to have faith. You've got to have hope. And you've got to believe and trust that it will do. That is a mental side of things. And then get the diet and nutrition and lifestyle right. And it will be fine. You know? Yeah. However, I do think we have to be more objective about it. Absolutely. Thank you. No problem at all. You're welcome. You're welcome, Rabia. Guys, keep yourself busy all the time. That way you stay. You, you will think less about flowers. Yes, it does work. Absolutely. You are brother to me. Can I ask, um, are you um, are you a, a male or a female? Because I'm not too good on the names. I'm sorry. Rabia, is it a boy's name, a girl's name? I don't know. I'm sorry. And where are you from? Where are you from? Sorry. Is it? Um, I know it's an Arabic name, I think, if I'm right. An Arabic name. It's a nice name, by the way. I've never heard it before. I've never heard the name Rabia before. So I just want to say it's a lovely name. Rabia. OK, Rabia female. OK, it's a very nice name. Right, right. And you're a sister to me then, Rabia. You're a sister to me. You're all brothers and sisters. Don't let floaters control you. Absolutely never let floaters control you. Rabia female. Yeah, I love this, you know. I love it. I love it. It's just, it's amazing. We're all from different countries. Isn't it so nice, though? You know, we're like, it's amazing. We're all brothers and sisters. We're all going through this. I love this, you know. Yeah, I'm so glad I actually created this channel, you know, and actually went with it and just said, you know, what? I'm going to go onto YouTube. I'm not going to be afraid. I'm not going to be, you know, worried or anything. I'm going to voice my opinion. And look, we've built a lovely community now. I'm really proud of this, you know. I'm proud of all of you, by the way. Honestly, I'm very proud of all of you. You're all amazing. Uh, you live alone. Oh, no, no, no. I live with my mom and brother. You know, I haven't moved out yet. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to afford the rents. No, there's no way I could afford the rents. Yeah. So I live with my mom and my brother. My brother is 24. I'm 20. My mom is, um, 51 so it's just us three and obviously the pets of course don't forget the two dogs and the one cat yeah i'm from india oh, okay you're from india i've got loads of indian friends but i've never heard the name rabia obviously here in london you know there's a huge population of indians and i went to a school which was predominantly indian but i've never heard the name rabia before yeah i never heard the uh name rabia before i was praying every day as well i was so depressed but as i said you do get used to them. And yes, try to be busy all the time. Think about your lifestyle. Absolutely, Kaz. I love this. There's so many positive people in here. I love it. It's amazing. Do you know, it's just crazy. I just wish when I first got iFloaters, there was these Facebook groups. Well, there was, but I didn't look for them. But I wish there was something on YouTube because that's the place I was I was on. I just wish there was more support on YouTube. Anyway, there's support here now. And that's the that's the good thing. Rabia, how did you get floaters? Yeah, what do you think caused your floaters? And everyone else in here? What would you say are the top three, if you had to rank them, causes of your eye floaters? And if I'm looking down, I'm just on my phone here. Whilst you type that, and I'll get straight back to the chat after. Um, let me check in. I've got a lot of messages. <laughs> I've got a lot of messages to reply to. I will do. Um, um any surgery or they just popped out of nowhere yeah that's the interesting thing you know 
And yeah, do let me know that. What do you think? What would you say if you had to rank them as the top three causes of your eye flows? And also, how did your eye floaters appear? Did you wake up in the morning and see two eye floaters? And then each month, how many more eye floaters do you get and what type? Yeah, I want a little description, you know, and see if it's similar to mine. And also other people in here can sort of benefit. Let's all share our story. I love this, you know, interactive. Oh, there's no way. One hour. That's amazing. Doesn't even feel like one hour. <laughs> That's amazing. Been on your one hour. I love you all. That's amazing. I'm staying on. I don't know when I get off, but I'll stay on for a bit longer. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. It doesn't even feel like one hour. No wonder I got a dry throat. <laughs> that's amazing. Been on here for an hour. Oh, I didn't. A bit off topic. I didn't open any of my snaps today. If I lost some of these streaks, my friends would be fuming. Oh, my gosh. I must have sent these before work and went to work and didn't. I didn't open any ones. We got the streaks. Yeah, the streaks are all right. Oh. <laughs> The Snapchat streaks. Oh, dear. Are they all here? I never want to lose any of these. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Get off your phone, call and get back to the live stream. Or just <laughs> no, I'll be on in one minute. One minute. Do 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 do. What's going on there? Okay. One minute. One minute. Oh, there's loads in the chat. I'll get your chat in just one minute. One minute. One minute. Right, I need to get off this phone. You see how? You see how distracting? See these devices? How distracting they are? Look, they're even distracting me. These devices are too distracting. And this is on my personal account now, you know? My friends are distracting me now. I'll get back to you. One minute. What? what? Where the heck is that? What is that? Wow. Right. Turning off the phone. Sometimes you just got to turn off your Wi-Fi. You've got to just turn off your phone. Get out of here. Right. Um, my float has appeared when I was really stressed out. Oh, welcome to the broadcast, Coro. Welcome to the brass broadcast, Coro. How are you doing? My uh, float has appeared when I was really stressed out and had high anxiety. There we go. You see? Anxiety and stress. Right. Um, Platinum Punjabi Records. I woke up in the morning and a few floaters appeared. And then within two months, I had so many. After six to eight months, they started fading. Now I have few constant floaters. You see, that's sort of similar to my, yeah, that's sort of similar to how I had them. I woke up in the morning. Yeah. I was in the bathroom. That's where we all notice our floaters because it's so bright in there. I was in the bathroom before a big physics A-level exam. Oh, you're good if you can do physics. <sighs> that was my lowest science. It was biology, chemistry, and physics. I got A. Actually, no, I didn't get A. Did I get A? I might have got an A in biology. I definitely got an A or a B. And in chemistry, I got a B. And in physics, I got a C. Yeah, you're good if you can do physics. But that wasn't at A level. That was a GCSE. Um, so A level's crazy. I had so many after six to eight. Oh, no, I'm reading the other one now. Um, where, where was I reading now? And I saw one black spot. It's been two months since then. And I think there's two black spots now with multiple wavy lines and a bubble floater. Um, do you conduct any workshop or awareness class in UK? No, no, I don't conduct any. Uh, everything I do is online. Everything I do is online. Obviously, in the future, and if I had free time and I had the um, 
you know, the money or the, you know, if I had money time, I would love to raise awareness and actually have a workshop in my local town, in the city, in the country. Maybe one day, maybe, maybe one day. But for now, social media is good. YouTube, you know, Facebook is powerful enough for uh, iFloat's awareness. All right, guys. Bye bye. You connect with me on Instagram. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you always for being here. Um, actually, ha- actually, I'm so silly. Actually, I've just realized something. Platinum Punjabi records. I'm so stupid. You know, all this time I've been thinking you're two different people. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I talk to you on Instagram all the time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for coming in here. Ah, oh, that makes sense now. Oh, dear. I thought you were two different people. How did I not? How did I not link you together? That's because of the name. Yeah, I've got you on Instagram. Yeah, and you're really positive always. We always have great conversations. Go follow, go follow. Saini, S S S A I N I I I I. Yeah, three eyes like that. Let me just check Instagram now. Sai Varden ready. How's it going, Sai? Goodness me, it's been a long time. It's been too long, man. It's been too long. How are you doing, Sai? How are you doing? Um, we've been chatting, man. Yeah, we've been chatting loads. I didn't know. Because your YouTube name is different to your Instagram name. Yeah, I didn't realize. Ah, oh, silly me, silly me. Let me just log into the Instagram. I have visual snow too when I'm in my house or it's just really dark outside. Yeah, do you have mild visual snow, Coro? Because I have mild visual snow in the morning. So if I wake up in the morning, the whole sides are static and you know if i try and look at like you know um like a basket you know those old baskets what are they made out of i don't even know what they're made out of now um and basically anything that's got weavy lines just looks like it's shaking and then my peripheral shakes then it goes off after 10 minutes in the morning however even now let me just see something yeah it's only at the morning or very late at night where i can't look at certain things i get the static and i get the visual snow it's strange I would hate to suffer with it always. I don't know how people suffer with it always. Man, I couldn't do that. And I couldn't walk down the street and have that always. I hate it for 10 minutes in the morning. At night time, I hate it. Yeah, it's mild visual snow. Not when I'm outside. Same. I don't get it when I'm outside. Hey, dude, did you try the Vitro Cap capsules? No, I haven't tried the Vitro Cap. But a lot of success stories on Facebook. People are messaging me saying, oh, they're decreasing, decreasing. So that is good. That is good. Some people are saying it's 60 percent decrease. Very good news. And no adverse side effects yet. No bad side effects. But I have it for the whole day if I look at a white wall or something dark. That's crazy. You have it for the whole day. See, mine goes off. Oh, you still have it for the whole day. Even I have visual snow sometimes. When I see sky, it appears light flickering. Yeah, that could be the blue field in top deck. I get that crazy. I do have it crazy on a blue sky. But then that sort of the flickering and the darting lights, there's like a million of them in the sky. That's annoying. But then the visual snow sort of um that's what you're describing sai is the blue field and top of the phenomenon but visual snow sort of when everything's static so imagine the blue field and top of the phenomenon on the sky but on your bathroom wall or or when you look at everything <sighs> crazy stuff oh wow i've got four messages on instagram as well and two message requests i better get to that i should do that you know i should do that we've had a good live stream actually no, i want to live stream for a bit more Let's live stream for maybe five minutes more or 10 minutes more. If there's any questions or anything you want me to discuss, let's discuss it now. Let's um, talk about it right now. And then I should really start replying to some messages. I definitely should. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for watching the live stream. Yeah. Nav, that's right. Nav, Platman. I didn't I realize you. Right. So let me get back to it. Let me get back to it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, I think visual snow is related to vitreous as soon as some wrong 
happens with Vich as it triggers. Yeah, it could be how the light's coming through. It could be. But then a lot of the visual snow is neurological, more in like the cerebellum and then the visual cortex. Yeah, but then they're probably because of light as well. That could change things, definitely. Turn on your phone camera in low light. That's what visual snow looks like. Absolutely. Yeah, even when you're like on a Snapchat or, or a camera and you get that grainy stuff, that's what visual snow looks like. Yes, yes. Definitely now if it does now. Um, is it okay to sit in front of a computer for eight hours? No way. No, 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 no. If you are going to be on the computer long, make sure five minutes you look into the distance, back to the computer. Five minutes you close your eyes, look into the distance, do the pen exercises. Never just sit in front of a computer straight because that could cause more eye floaters to come because as you're using closed vision, everything's pulling forward. People don't realize this. Imagine having a muscle contracted, right? Um, I don't know what example should I do. Can you even see that? So you imagine like, imagine you get your arm now, right? Imagine there's not, you know, imagine you contract your arm like that. You see how it's moving? That's how your eye is when you're using closed vision. Or, you know, your hand, you know, when you tense and you see your veins here. So imagine you're clenched, you're tense like that. That's how your eye is in closed vision. When you look to the distance, it relaxes it. So imagine having everything tense. It's very bad for the eyes to be using closed vision all day. Yeah, so take take breaks. I think you were right, Platinum. I got floaters first, then visual snow. I have dry, uh, I'm dry fasting to heal it though. All right, bye, people. Love. Yeah, take care, Nav, and have a wonderful day. Yeah, Coro, fasting is amazing. Fasting is very amazing. Yeah. So people don't forget this, you know. They go, you know, people don't forget this. when you're using close-up vision, you're you're restricted like that. You want to relax your eye by looking in the distance, cover your eye by taking breaks. And this is why there is a rise in myopia and a rise in the nearsightedness and they can't see into the distance because of computers, laptops and iPads. And people with myopia have eye flowers and they have a higher risk of detachment because everything's pulling forward constantly throughout their life. So I know it's mild and I know it may be eight hours and you may not have myopia. But guess what? You're sitting on a computer. Everything's gradually pulling forward. Imagine that day after day after day. It's a cumulative big calculation of a big number. That's that's how you've got to look at it. And that is why I think I've been so successful. It's the diet, nutrition, lifestyle, the food and the blue light blockers, and also taking breaks from the laptop and not using the laptop as much. It's a whole protocol. It's what I try to say. It's a whole protocol. If you get every part of this right, I'm sure you should have success. I don't see why you wouldn't have success. You may have less than someone else because we're all different, but you should definitely have a lot of success. Yeah. What videos do I have coming up? Did I do a video on visual snow? Oh, I just thought of something now. Oh, it's going to be so out of sync now with the times. No, it doesn't matter. Basically, I don't know when the video will come out. There's a video going to be called. I have started experiencing visual snow. Uh, and then that was for the past three days, but I recorded that a few weeks back, but it's only going to come out after this. So, yeah, if there's some videos and dates and things don't add up, that's because the videos were filmed so long ago and I took so long to edit them. But, yeah, I've had visual snow, I'd say, maybe for about three weeks, maybe. But a bit longer, but it's on and off, it's on and off. But it's only mild, it's only mild visual snow, only in the morning. Only in the morning, only at night. The rest of the day, it's okay. Blue field and topic phenomenon, that's just crazy. That's permanent. I can look at these curtains, I can see it on my curtains, on my blue curtains. I can look at the white uh, cupboard over there, darting lots. I can look at this white tissue, get it very slightly white paper. It would be more, and I can see the blue field and top of the phenomenon, and I get it quite a lot. Is it all right I use blue light blocking lens and sit in front of PC? Now, that's one side of it. The good thing is you're using the blue light. That's amazing. Keep blocking the blue light. However, the looking into the distance, shutting your eyes is crucial, at least you know, every 20 minutes, you know, or, or at least twice an hour. Let's say that at 30 minute mark, look into the distance for five minutes, get back to your PC. Then at the hour mark, look into the distance, shut your eyes for two minutes or three minutes. Just regularly incorporate that into your daily lifestyle. and It'll be amazing for your visual eye health. Since I've only had my floats for two months, do you think they go away quickly? Do you know what? This is what I think. I, th I, I can't say for sure. But I think so. Because you're at the beginning, you know, I, I did it very late, didn't I? You know, you're at the beginning and you, you're you getting all this information. I would say so. Get on all these lifestyles and protocols. And they should, if they don't go away, they should definitely decrease. And you should be able to prevent any more from coming. 
but we're all different you know we're all you know growing at different ages uh you know aging at different rates yeah it's all interesting but i should i would say it's highly likely yes it's highly likely there's 80 percent chance that they will reverse quicker than my case yeah yeah i know this is so itchy you know that's on so itchy i don't know what's going on um i'm taking computer science branch you're good oh you're good this is complicated stuff computer science in engineering wow you're good Whew. these eye flutters are worrying me i know because you need such precision don't you need such precision yeah what i would say is as long as you can still do what you can do you know keep um doing that keep focus on that strong enough what's going on strong enough welcome to the broadcast they do not go quickly you will familiar in three to four months yeah let's say that about two to three months it could take to start reversing some but definitely you can prevent them now if you get on the healthy approach you can definitely prevent the eye floaters yes yeah, si, i you need sort of yes yeah, i si, you're doing computer science you need a pin vision it's hard isn't it yeah Mm. computer science that's the problem you see when it starts interfering into jobs it will get easier to... how long have you had eye floaters si how long have you had eye floaters si see now go here stay positive stay healthy that should be your motive yeah stay positive Actually, yeah, I think we should go. Yeah, that's good. Stay positive. Stay strong. Stay healthy. You know, all the, yeah, that's a good, that's, that should be your motive and that should be your motto, definitely. Always. Absolutely. I agree there. Yeah, definitely. One year, you see, yeah, one year. So that's, I know that's a long time. But that is still fairly new, you know what I mean? One year is still fairly new. I know it sounds crazy that you've had it one year. And I'm going to say give it more time. But trust me, stick with the healthy protocols and the advice and the information that I share. And you should you should start seeing change and definitely prevent any more from coming. And they will get easier. Look, it's took me, what, two and a half years, nearly? Two years. It's probably took me eight months to reverse some my flows. But to get to a position where I could, you know, even the eye floaters that haven't changed, to get to the position to actually be able to live with them, two and a half years. You know, it takes time to get to a position where you can actually say, oh, you know what? I can do this activity. I can do this thing. It takes time. It really does take a lot of time. But you will eventually get to a place where you're not tracking them all the time. You're not having high anxiety. You will get there. I know it may seem far off, but keep positive because you will get there and it will get better. Yeah. So, I just want to say to everyone that has watched this broadcast, honestly, I love you. You're amazing. You're wonderful. Keep strong. Keep positive. It will get better. And just tell yourself that I am health. Say this to yourself every day. I am healthy. I am happy. I floaters have no authority over me. I will get better. I am getting better. You've got to be positive. Get the mindset right. Diet, nutrition, lifestyle. And you will be OK. You know, anxiety is a horrible thing. Depression is a horrible thing, you know, and stress. And it just makes blows everything up. You know, try positivity is the ground. Faith, hope and positivity. Get in those three things. And it's amazing. And if you ever need anything, feel free to message me. I may reply late. I may respond late. But just if you ever need anything, I will reply. That's the thing. I do want to help you as best possible. So click the Facebook group link in the down below join the group like the group and then also click my profile and send me a friend request and we can talk one-to-one -on, -one on the messages and i'll try and help you as best as possible and i um, just going to answer a couple more questions and then i'm going to get over to facebook actually no i'm going to go to instagram answer some questions then i'm going to go to facebook and reply to all of the messages which floaters will go quicker black or transparent the black ones will the black ones will go the black small black dot the small black dots firstly and then the black strands do you um do you try the protocol with green tea and cod oil yes i did but um uh, no effect on eye floaters no effect on eye floaters and 
it's, it's, it's got, it helps the eyes, it helps the eyes, but not putting it in it. I'm talking orally. So obviously cod liver oil capsules orally, um, dabbing the green tea on the face. Uh, it definitely helps the skin. It helps the shininess. And I would say, you know, I will say that I will say this for eye floaters, no success. However, for night vision, sort of at night time when I had a lot of cod liver oil, I was seeing good because of probably the vitamin A. And then the tear glands were better. I was getting more tears because of DHA and EPA. So cod liver oil is definitely good. You want to implement it. But in terms of that protocol helping my eye floaters, no, sadly not. Will circular floater go away? When you say circular floater, is that like the transparent one? The ones that you can see through? Because for me, they haven't changed. They haven't changed. The black ones seem to have changed the most. Did you try the GNC eye formula? Is that the one um, Christian just talked about? I did try the green tea and the cod liver oil, but I haven't tried a GNC. Right. I'm sorry that I can't answer any more um, chats, but if you do want to talk to me, message me on Facebook for the fastest response. And for the second fastest response, uh, message me on Instagram. And I just want to say I love you all. You're wonderful. Thank you so much for everyone that subscribed to this channel. Thank you for liking this video. And thank you for liking all my videos. Basically, thank you for everything you'll do. And stay strong. Stay strong. It will get better. It will do. You know, get in that right place because oh, I've been in some awful places and anxiety, depression, all of that stress and just it makes everything worse and then when you go to a white wall and you start counting your eye floaters and then you get down and then you sleep all day and you get up and you sleep all day and you eat that get out of that wake up in the morning say i'm strong i'm happy i'm healthy go for a run go for a jog eat them healthy meals you know get your fat soluble vitamins eat your organic healthy meats eat your vegetables eat your fruits be happy laugh enjoy things look to the distance focus on what is in front of you and if an eye floater comes across don't think about the word eye flutter. Don't track it. Continue doing what you're doing. I know it's not easy, but don't start tracking your eye flutters and wishing them all around and counting them all. It just drives you mad. So, yeah, feel free to message me. I love you all. Take care. Um, God bless you all. Thank you for your blessings and your prayers, you know, sending positive prayers and vibes and thoughts and everything to you. God bless you all, you know, sending all the positive vibes and prayers and thoughts and everything through the screen. Thank you for all your support. Um, with you, I'd be nothing. You're my brother. You're my sister. This channel would be nothing without you. So thank you very much. I'm very appreciative. I love you all. And together, we are united. And together, we will do great things. We're raising awareness day by day. I love you all. Thank you so much for joining me. One hour, 23 minutes, and it doesn't even feel like it. See? They say time goes fast when you're having fun. It definitely does. I love you all. I love you all. I hate ending things, and I hate saying goodbyes. I love you all. Um... Uh...